Hey guys and gals, I'm rocking the Pantera, which I wasn't planning to review, but there was no new guns around, so I did, and I'm so glad too, because this thing's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So we'll have that coming soon. As well, I got this right here. Okay, it's a new LCS with the FX barrel system on it. So this has a FX smooth twist, X, whatever they call that barrel. I already jacked up the rail right there. Uh, but this thing's super badass. So you can put basically slug liners, whatever you want in there. Right now, I guess it has a normal FX liner. This thing's awesome though, but that's nothing. Right next to my RC truck that has infrared lighting and regular lighting and infrared cameras and a uh, video signal that goes like half a mile and a gun inside it. Oh, and it also has an air horn so you can go up to someone and go bah! super loud like they're sit standing next to a semi truck. Anyway, right next to that, this is a 25 caliber. It's funny, LCS will sell you the best PCP in the world. That's why I chose it for my personal uh, PCP. In the worst gun case in the world. I hate this gun case. It's just super hard to open. That right there is a 25 caliber SK-19 stock. Okay, oh, nice manual. But that's not even the whole story. That funky business right there is... Lothar Walther barrels for the 22 and 25, four of them, two with mild choke, two with a more choke, and then I believe actually on here is LCS's proprietary slug barrel. So I'm supposed to test all these in 22 and 25 with a variety of slugs and then let them know which barrel is best. So that'll be crazy. Anyway, once I do figure that out, we're going to have a LCS slug video coming out. And you guys can see what this baby will do with slugs. Turn that power up and go for it. All right, this week we have a great compressor. If you're going to buy a gun like this, you're not going to have a lot of money left over. Same with that little stinker. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know what's coming up on the Air Gun channel. Right now, enjoy this. What's up, guys and gals? Today I'm going to be checking out a couple of portable PCP compressors, which I've said many times before are the best way to get into PCP. With PCP rifles out there from three to $500, that'll shoot dime sized groups at 75 yards. A portable compressor is what you wanna go with, basically, if you're just getting into PCP. I'm gonna give you an up close look at these two PCP compressors, but if you haven't got yourself a PCP rifle yet, these hook directly to the tank on your PCP rifle, pump it up about two to three minutes, you get a full 4,500 PSI fill. But what I was about to say is you get yourself one of these, you get yourself a Woodstock Avenger, and now you have a top performing PCP setup. Basically, you're only into the PCP hobby for half of the price of a medium range PCP air gun, and a third of the price of a high end PCP air gun. And that's for your gun and compressor, and you're still shooting dime sized groups of 75 yards. So I always get excited about these affordable PCP compressors. These are good little compressors, I'll tell you. All right, so each one of these is inspected. Okay, and someone signs off on it. Sturdy handles is like thick rubber. That is your pressure gauge with automatic shutoff. So this needle right here is what you have your automatic shutoff. See how the end of it right there, the one that's closest to us right here, like right there, you know, 100 bar. So you set that and then when this needle, the actual pressure gauge hits it, it'll shut off. This right here is your temperature gauge. That's digital, it'll light up. Then you got your compressor and your fan. You turn your fan on first, and then once that's running full speed, then you turn your compressor off. Likewise, you turn your compressor off first, let the fan run for a second, and then turn that off. That's the top of the compressor here on the front. That's where you hook your air in. You generally put this big one right there. It's quick disconnect. Stick it right on there. This right here is your burst disc. So if you get above 4,500 PSI, a little brass disc in here will burst. There it is right there. Those are burst discs. You put one of those back in there and you'll be good to go. It's a safety thing. This right here is your bleed valve. You want to make sure this is closed all the way before you start pumping your gun up. Once your gun is filled up or anytime you've built pressure, you go 
release that and that will let the air out and then you can disconnect it from your gun. The other thing I'll tell you about these, if you ever get to the point where your compressor is just going up to like 2200 or something and it won't build pressure, the end of this right here, the end of that tip will get basically dirty, kind of fouled a little bit. So you clean it off with some emery cloth, screw back in, you're good to go. That's something to watch out for though, is that can get a little, uh, not corroded, but just kind of dirty. Now you're going to see vent holes all over these machines and it's very important that you never block any of these holes and they suck air so hard that if you have like some paper on your desk, it'll suck it right over and block it. So I think that's your power supply in there, more vents, more vents. There's vents on all sides of this baby, so except the front right there. And on the bottom, we even got a vent right here. That's where you do to 110 volt. You can flip that over and run this off 220. The other thing is you see these legs and everything. You don't want to set this on the carpet because then that's just going to screw up everything. So you got one, two, three, four. Four of these six sides needs to be well ventilated. You can't put this next to a wall or something like that. So this right here is if you want to run it off your car battery. Let's say you take this to the forest. Make sure that your car is running. This right here is an XT60. You just plug it in right there under the 110 volt power cord. Boom, right like that, and then you just hook that to your car battery. Make sure your car is running, like I said. Obviously, you can run this at home. Just plug it into the wall at your house. Boom, there's for 110 or 220 volt. You got a home plug right there. These moisture filters right here, they just go inside here. You unscrew it as well. There's an O-ring. This is just your standard 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting. So it'll fit any standard air gun or paintball gun. All right, so that's the little cutie. And like I say, if you're just getting into PCP, maybe you're buying yourself uh, an AEA or uh, one of the new uh, Avenge X or um, what else is coming out? An Avenger or, you know, I just reviewed a $300 PCP, the DAR Gen 3. That's a $299. Grab one of these and you got your PCP rifle and your compressor for the price of a hat sand. All right, here's the big dog. So as you can see, we got the same thing right here, but this is just the power cord is wrapped up all neatly there. That right there is just an extra clamp. You clamp these two things on there. When you're done, this is the same as the other one. It's got vents all over it. You want to be real careful about the vents. It's been inspected. We got your thermometer right there. Top looks almost the same. We got your thermometer. And your pressure gauge works exactly the same as the other one. Got that nice handle right there. It's uh, metal inside. All right, then this is what I call the business end. Oh, that's neat. So you got your fan and compressor on and off buttons. So once again, you press your fan, it'll go. Once it's going all the way, you hit your compressor. Sorry, they're building the deck outside. And you're on. Right up from that, of course, we've got your bleed valve. Close that before you start. Open it before you disconnect your gun. That's where you put your burst disc. And that, of course, is where you connect your hose. Usually put this in first. And these have identical ends, though. And they'll clip right on a 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting. Standard air gun, paintball guns. That's that side. And we just got some groovy vents right there. Ooh, looking good on that side, but if you ever need to service it, these are just uh, little machine screws, I guess. So you just take those out, and that cover will slide right off. Here's a little extra right here. This is a inlet valve for the air, and it's got a little, basically a moisture filter right there. Built in. And yeah, that is almost about it. Up here we got your hardcore stats. And of course, right there is where you're going to connect your car battery, your cable, if you're going to run it off a car battery. Once again, make sure your car's running. And of course, your 110 volt power. Very nice manual to have here. Wow, these are incredibly detailed instructions, you guys. This is an awesome, awesome manual. It's more like 
a fresh ass book that you can read about your compressor. But it does say, it says that you, it's very important right here. It says always run the cooling fan two or three minutes before starting the air compressor. Obviously we know don't run the air compressor without the cooling fan in operation, we know that. But it also says always run the cooling fan two or three minutes before starting the air compressor. So maybe it likes to cool the metal down a little bit and then start it up. And I would say probably run it two or three minutes after just in case that's what they meant. But I know on my Kong compressor, they said run it two or three minutes after. Or actually, uh, Ben told me that. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Like I say, Vivor, or however you pronounce this, they're a cool company. They got a hold of me. They saw my channel, and they sent this compressor out. But these are great examples of your basic portable PCP compressor. That's what they call these. And I've said it many times, it's the best way to get into PCP. There's so many of these affordable PCP rifles now. We're talking three to 500 for a lights out PCP rifle. And you guys, just the best PCP rifle out there for a budget PCP is going to be the Woodstock Avenger. Okay, that thing shoots dime sized groups at 75 yards with Hades. There will be a link in the description to the video and a link to buy the Avenger as well as links to these two beauties in the description. So grab yourself a Woodstock Avenger 22 caliber and one of these two compressors. You'll be in business. All right, you guys. Till next week. Happy shooting. I'll see you on the next one.